All right, it's been a, show y'all what we're out here doing. It's been a, uh, about a week since we went test and tune. We messed with the car a little bit. Had to order, I ordered a fuel pressure regulator a while back and I never could get it to actually work. Couldn't figure out why. Thought I had it hooked up wrong and just went back and forth with it for a minute and then I kind of gave up on it. And then James come over, we got to really looking at it over the weekend, last weekend and uh, figured out that what I, what I ordered and what I got is not the same thing. So that was my problem. I never did check the number on the on it. You know, I got I should have got a 12-803 pump, which works with a mechanical fuel pump. What I uh, what I ordered, I guess. What I I couldn't find my order form, so I couldn't. I didn't. I guess I just I didn't pay attention or what. I don't know. But we ordered the wrong one. It was for a fuel pressure a fuel pump car going down to one that was fuel injection going down to a carburetor so there wasn't enough uh, volume pressure whatever you want to call it getting through through the uh, pressure regulator so we ordered a new one this is it like I said that was the parts number for earlier let me split this around it's probably backwards <laughs> there you go got mine for summit it was 58 bucks it wasn't that bad the other one was a lot more because it had a a diaphragm in it and this one doesn't so but we're going to use the bracket for it as well that's where i had it all set up over here so we're not going to change nothing and go right back to the same spot i already have all of the stuff made up so i ain't got to do nothing uh different so cool beans let me get this out and uh put it over here slow simple how the other one was hooked up was uh you know the same way which this is the same way right here right there's the in right here coming in and these are the outs two outs so you put this on a rail and feed both uh bows at the same time we're going to cap this one off run the fuel here cap this one off and then use that one right there so Alright, cool beans. This will also have uh, it's four and a half to nine psi is what this one will hold. It comes preset at seven, so we might have to do a little adjusting on it, but not a whole lot. Alright, cool beans. Let me uh, let me get this put on here. Alright, I need a second set of eyes out here. All of this seems good. No leaks here, I got no leaks here, but I got a tick. And then I can't tell where my oh, uh, fuel pressure's at, so we're gonna have to wait, get James over here. Hope we didn't hurt the dang motor just on those two little stupid runs. <sighs> it's gonna suck. Uh, let me kind of give y'all a little update with the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, it's all holding good at six pounds now. James come over and is watching the pressure, and it's staying steady at six now. I know we need to get it up to around six and a half, but that's adjustable now. It's not sporadic. But the car's still flooding out pretty bad. The, uh, my dad's been saying <laughs> from the beginning that to, the carburetor stopped up even before after we took it off, so we're going to take the carburetor back off and go completely through it redo you know all the way through the carburetor again and just uh it's got it's stopped up gotta be because it is flooding out super bad right now so uh even after getting the, the fuel pressure fixed it's still flooding so that's where we're at on it i'm going to well, let me flip y'all around show y'all what i'm doing today Okay, we got the fuel pressure regulator. I just, I had regular Teflon tape. I didn't have the proper Teflon tape. I went and looked for it, and people at the parts house are just idiots. And uh, if you work at the parts house, you at least need to know. If you don't know nothing about the car, at least you need to know what's in your store. But anyways, I had to go find the right Teflon tape for it. So I couldn't, I didn't find it when I was, uh, went there myself. I went looking in the wrong spot. I didn't go over and look by the gas fittings, which I should have. Yeah, but we got it now, so I'm going to take all of this loose. I'm going to take the carburetor off, 
and uh, I might not take the carburetor off. You got to wait till tomorrow. We're gonna rebuild the carburetor tomorrow. Go through it. Uh, so or this afternoon. Anyways, I'm gonna go and take all my fittings back loose off of the fuel pressure regulator and put the right stuff on it. That way, we're gonna have no issues there with no leaks. Because regular Teflon tape, the gas will eat through it. I just wanted to to get everything on yesterday and make sure uh, it worked and that the fuel pressure regulator was working like it was supposed to. So that's where we're at. I'm going to change everything out, and uh, we're going to redo the cover. i got to check a bunch of stuff. James, don't seem to think, and even Dad, he heard a little bit of a tick, but not much out here. So I'm going to check the torque converter bolts and do a little odds and ends and make sure nothing come loose and that's where I'm hearing it in the car. Alright, cool beans, let me get all this uh just busy work trying to just uh, get everything anyways let me get busy. You see that right there coming out right there? That's just plain Teflon tape. It is just coming apart. That's why you don't want to use that. That's why I'm taking all this apart. This was this would have failed on oh, us right here so all right, cool beans. I just wanted to show you all that. All right, quick kind of catch everybody up where I'm at on this thing. You see I got carburetor swapped off. We got the Elderbrock back on it uh, to check her flooding issue. I'm waiting on the bracket to come in for the throttle linkage. I mean, I could sit out here and work it with my hand or have Dad, but I need a spare bracket anyway, so I'm just going to wait on it. And uh, it should come in up hopefully tomorrow or anyways when it gets here we'll swap over the bracket and get it fired back up and uh, this is just to check our flooding issue we're we're all 100 percent confident that the carburetor stopped up that blue gaskets just got it all messed up and i'm thinking i probably messed up the needle valve in it because once i was trying to stop it from flooding i tightened it down and i think i might have messed up the needle valve i should have took it out and looked at it i have a brand new one so anyways we're going to rebuild that brawler, get it rebuilt, but I wanted to get the car up and running again. And so check out the, this, one, like I said, we'll confirm the flooding issues. And then if I hear any rattle, because once it gets up and running, this allows us to fix everything. We're going to fix the holly and get it back on here. But this, like I said, this is just all temporary. So kind of catches out where we're at. I'm waiting on a, uh, Throttle, uh, throttle bracket to come in and then we'll get this back up and running so that lets y'all uh, like I said I'm not and all the everything else I've checked everything else too so I gonna need to pop the valve cover off and then I'll check those too so I can do that anyways I'm gonna throw these up and let y'all uh, that way these don't get super long and uh hope y'all enjoy and I'll let y'all taters later